Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Ron and this is going to be my holiday edition of what you should buy for the holidays if your significant other, friend, family, coworker, son, daughter is looking for a drone this Christmas. So let's jump right into it. Christmas is right around the corner and many of you might be overwhelmed with all the options out there. Whatever your reason for looking, I think I can help. I've been flying drones for over three years now, so I'm gonna give you the same advice I would give my own family and friends. And I'm gonna try to do this in under two minutes. To do that, I'm not gonna go in any kind of deep dive into each of these drones. I'm just gonna touch on the highlights of each. So let's put two minutes on the clock. Oh, and please remember to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's always appreciated, so here we go. My first pick for best budget drone would be the DJI Mini 2, which came out last month. This drone is going to run you around $449 US. It comes in at 249 grams, meaning you don't have to register it with the FAA if you live in the US. It comes with OcuSync 2.0, significantly extends your range of flight and stability of your wireless connection. You can shoot video up to 4K at 24, 25, and 30 frames per second, 2.7K at 24, 25, and 30 frames per second, or 1080p full HD at 60 frames per second. It's got a top speed of around 35 miles per hour and a battery life that's gonna give you around 31 minutes of flight time. Again, this would be my budget pick for someone new to the hobby or someone who's never owned a drone before. It's a great pick for the money. My second pick would be the DJI Mavic Air 2. It's gonna run you around $799 US, so it's more expensive than the Mini 2 that we just talked about. But as they say, you get what you pay for. This is a great all-around drone and what I would recommend for most of my friends and family if they asked me what I would buy or recommend. I owned the original Mavic Air and I loved it. And this drone is the predecessor to the original Mavic Air. This drone also just came out this year and has a great battery life around 34 minutes. Really good image and video quality. Shoots video up to 4K at 60 frames per second. You get object detection and avoidance, OcuSync 2.0, and many other features including 8K hyperlapse and quick shots. It can also be folded up and made more compact if you're traveling. Again, it's a great all-around drone for a price that's under $1,000. Again, this would be the pick for myself if I was looking to buy and based on my own personal needs. My third pick would be the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, which comes in around $1,599. I would call this the best high-end consumer drone. Now, this would be for the more serious drone enthusiasts wanting to take better photos and videos without jumping into what would be considered a professional level drone gear. It has excellent 4K video quality. It shoots 20 megapixel RAW and JPEG still images. Excellent battery life, around 31 minutes. It has a foldable design for travel and storage and includes obstacle avoidance sensors as well. Again, you're gonna pay more for a drone like this, but the image and the video quality will be noticeable. Now, the reason you get such a great shot out of this drone is that it uses a one inch sensor compared to a lot of other drones using a one and two third inch camera sensor. My fourth pick would be the DJI Mavic 2 Zoom. Very similar to the DJI Mavic 2 Pro, but comes in a little less at $1,349 US. The big difference between this drone and the Mavic 2 Pro is the zoom has a two time optical zoom lens. Now remember the Mavic 2 Pro doesn't have a zoom feature, but does have a higher quality camera. Aside from the camera, the Mavic 2 zoom is the same drone as the Mavic 2 Pro. The zoom just uses a one and two third inch image sensor with a 12 megapixel resolution. The Mavic 2 Pro uses a one inch sensor camera with a 20 megapixel resolution. The zoom lens would be the reason someone would buy this drone over the smaller and cheaper Mavic Air 2. And my final and fifth pick would be an FPV quad. If you're looking for something a little less traditional and want to get started in FPV, I would recommend an FPV quad. For starters, I would recommend something small and more durable like an FPV Whoop racing starter kit from Beta FPV. And looking at the Beta FPV website, they're in the process of updating this particular kit with a newer starter kit, which should be released the middle of this month. The starter kit is ideal for any FPV beginner. You'll get everything you need to get into FPV. You'll get a radio transmitter, you'll get FPV goggles, and the FPV itself, the Beta 65S Lite, all set up and ready to fly. This little whoop is perfect for getting started. Trust me, you don't want to start off using a full five inch quad because you're going to spend a lot more time repairing it. 
um, than actually flying. So starting with something small and durable like this is the way to go if you're just looking to get into FPV. I've left some affiliate links below to all of these products. It doesn't cost you any more to use these links. It just helps support the channel. I hope you found this video to be helpful. And if you did, please remember to give the video a thumbs up and perhaps think about, thinking, think about subscribing if you're not subscribed already. Sorry, I went a lo little over the two minutes, but I hope you did find this helpful. There are plenty of other videos out there going into great or greater detail about each of these products that I mentioned. So feel free to check those out for more detailed information. I get asked by family and friends what I would recommend, and this is the same information that I would give to them, so I hope you found it helpful. And if you know you wanna get into FPV and you're serious about it, I would check out the Beta 95X or the Emacs Bind and Fly Tiny Hawk 2 as well. They're both great starter FPVs. And again, I've left links to all of these below if you're at all interested in checking them out. So until next time, stay safe and happy flying.